Alrighty, so we're back and we're getting ready to talk about the uh, Parallax S2, which for those of you who don't know what the S is, it's called Scribbler. Uh, they basically made a first version and this is a second version. So in our previous videos, we basically showed it off, showed some things, you know, the demos. One thing that we left out that we want to get into is what's inside this little pr pretty uh, plastic casing. You know, since there was nothing to build, this is just how it came. Um, let's go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside of this. So we went ahead and we looked at you know what we needed to do, and it looks like it's just a bunch of uh, Phillips head screws we have to take off. So <clears throat> I'm going to start off by just let's go ahead and take out the batteries. Okay, so batteries are. Okay, so looks like we have six screws, if I'm not mistaken. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's just go ahead and unscrew those. Sorry, there's actually eight. I missed two up here by the wheel. I'm going to leave those for last to see if I can get away with not doing them. Now we don't advise that you do this at home unless you really know uh, what you're doing and you're, you feel comfortable taking things apart and putting them back together knowing that they're still going to work once you're done. Um, we've done this many times over so you feel pretty good about doing this. Okay, so those are screws there. I'm just going to put them on the little battery holder so I don't lose them. All right, so looks like we didn't need to take off those screws. So again, we didn't take off the screws that are on the wheel itself here. We didn't have to. Now we're just going to be careful about opening this up because there's some cables there. <coughs> Excuse me. Luckily, though, it looks like we can unplug them. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to unplug them for now. Yep. So I'm going to be kind of cautious here because sometimes these kits are already pre-built. They're hard to put back together. Um, so what do we have here? So basically we have two standard motors. These look like you can pick them up at Radio Shack. Um, these are similar to the kit that comes with the Tamiya uh, kit that came with the DF Robot Shop uh, Rover, uh, if I'm not mistaken. No, sorry, no, the uh, DF Robot... Um, Arduino mobile platform that we've talked about quite a bit. And it looks like this is all custom circuitry, but it, at the end of it all, it looks at like the heart of this is the propeller chip right there. And we have this daughter board here that connects. This is for the serial, the LEDs, whatnot. Here you have some IR emitters, is probably what it looks like. And uh, power cables supplied here. More cables here powering the sensor underneath. Here's another uh, sensor up front. IR receiver probably. Okay, so that's the bottom side. Now the top portion, so there's our speaker that we've seen. We have our sensor here, which is which is that. That is for detecting motion or basically object avoidance, stuff like that. So infrared sensors there. And that's about it. So it's a fairly straightforward and simple design. Um, you could easily open this up, hack it, do whatever you want to do to it customize it to your liking. Um, again, we recommend if you do that, you only do it if you're experienced enough to do it and you feel comfortable doing it. Now, let's see here. We're just trying to see what type of sensors, what type of connectors these are here. I can't make them out. 
But the good thing is it looks like there's more expansion here. Let's uh, just give me a second here to. Uh, look under the light. So yeah, these look like additional analog ports. Looks like there's about eight or ten of them right here. And uh, that's about it. So that's the inside of the scribbler. Let me just put this back together. So what do we got here? Again, be careful when you put this back together if you're taking it apart. These boards, I haven't seen them sold independently. So this is a custom design just for this unit. Um, it does look like if you do want to remove these parts, which I'm not sure why you'd want to do it, kind of defeats the purpose of getting this platform, you could, and you could probably mount, you know, another type of board inside of here, wire it up properly. Sure enough, what's happening to this is not what we wanted to happen, which is certain things are getting loose on us. There we go. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's not necessarily easy to put back together once you take it apart, so be careful when you do it. Make sure you keep track of everything. There we go. So it just kind of snapped in there. All right. So let's flip this back up. I'm going to go ahead and kind of lightly screw these all in, at least from all four corners, and I'll leave the inner ones for last. back to normal. Let's turn it on. Sure enough, it turns on just as expected. So we're good. You can see the LEDs are on. It's already trying to do something there. I think that's our preloaded program that we installed earlier. quite done with it yet. It's not quite ready for this demonstration, but uh, as you can see, that's about it. We'll be back soon with uh, more on the Scribbler 2. I hope that was somewhat informative for you to see the insides of this. Again, remember, this is a kit that you'd want to use if uh, you're more of a software person and you uh, want to experiment more than anything without having to get into all the electronics part. This thing out of the box has all the sensors you need and easily connects the computer with a nice, easy-to-use uh, IDE. Take care, and we'll see you soon.